Hi everybody, Claire here from Van Isle Labradoodles and we're here to do the seven week update of the Spring Fling Litter. These puppies are medium sized, multi-generation Australian Labradoodles. These puppies have all been allocated to their families, so today we're going to give you a little bit of information on what each of the puppies has achieved in the last week and what we're working on with them. So right here we have Purple Collar, and Purple Collar's name now is Ollie. Hey Ollie, how you doing handsome? Ollie is a delightful little fellow. He is such a willing puppy. He really enjoys his learning exercises and he's been doing really well with those. So Ollie's part of our Head Start program and he's going to a family with one child and so we have been working with him to get him integrated a bit more with children and responding to them in a really nice positive manner and we've also been working with him this past week on wearing a collar. We will start with his leash work later this week and then we have also been having him in the house on his own so that he's used to being away from his litter mates. He also is doing really well with his crate training. When we put Ollie in the crate on his own, he lies down and he goes to sleep. It's wonderful. He has been one of the easiest dogs we've ever had to crate train. He's really doing well with that. And you'll notice how Ollie has really strong eye contact now and that's because we've been working with him on a one-on-one -on -one basis and getting him accustomed to looking to us for his cues as opposed to working with the other puppies in the litter for his cues. So that's Ollie. He's doing just great. There you go buddy. Next we have Scout. Scout is green collar boy. Whoopsie, there we go, there we go. Helps if I look what I'm doing. Here we go, Scout. Scout is going to a family in Victoria and they also have a lovely daughter. And he is going to be going to a variety of different care situations. So he's going to be going with his dad to work. And part of that is going to involve being exposed to seaplanes. And if you've been on a seaplane, especially if you live on Vancouver Island, seaplanes are just a part of our lives. Uh, they're loud. They make quite a bit of noise. They're much, uh, much louder than you would think. Then he is also going to be going to, with, to work with his new mom, and that will be in a classroom environment. So lots and lots of children. He'll also enjoy a couple of days at an outdoor daycare, and then he has his grandparents coming to look after him. So this puppy needs to be exposed to everything under the sun. He needs to be very independent and confident in order to be successful at daycare and not overwhelmed and afraid of a lot of strange dogs. So we have been introducing him to different dogs to make sure that he does feel at home in that situation. Big dogs, small dogs, all sorts of different dogs. Uh, we've also had him out with our lawn tractor and our gas-powered weed whacker so that he's exposed to the loudest sounds that we're able to create here. We don't have our own seaplane, darn it, but uh, we, we do get him up close and personal with those sounds. Uh, Reynolds also had him on the lawn tractor riding with him, so he's used to the different movements and the sound coming from different areas around him. Now Scout has always loved children. It's one of the reasons he was selected for his family. And he is continuing to be exposed to children, but he has that down pat. That is something he's very good at. And you'll see how he's sitting for me right now. He's very good at knowing, yep, yeah, it's time to get out and rock and roll and have a really good time playing. He loves to play with his litter mates, which is going to stand him in good stead for when he goes to daycare. But he also is very happy to sit and be stroked. So this is going to be good when he's in the classroom and needs to be quiet. And also when he's with the grandparents who might appreciate having a slightly quieter dog. So we're really proud of all of the things that Scout has been doing. And uh, he's working on his leash work as well and just doing great at that. So that's Scout. Next we have here, we'll just do the exchange. This is Chakra. Chakra is not part of our Head Start program. So Chakra is having her experiences in a group setting. The difference between Head Start, at being in the Head Start program and not is, if you're in the Head Start program, we do individualized things that are specific to the puppy circumstances with their new family. Um, but we still do a lot of work with the puppies, even if you're not in our Head Start program. 
So Chakra is going to go and live with her new mom and be in her law office. And her mom already has a puppy whose name is Bodhi. So Chakra is going to have a nice big brother to help show her the ropes. So Chakra is a lovely, quiet puppy and she is going to be excellent in an office environment. She's quite easy, to, uh, quite uh, able rather, to entertain herself. Uh, she likes to play independently and we're encouraging that in order for her to continue to be able to be in an office setting and not need to be always stimulated and get her responses from her humans. She's doing really well in her crate training as well. She was uh, in for some crate training this morning and it took her only about eight minutes to settle down. And she wasn't protesting all that much. And she's had many sessions where she just went right to sleep. So we think she's probably going to be pretty successful at that in the evenings for her new mom. So that's Chakra, our little yellow collar girl. Next, we have Lima. Hello, Lima. Hello, sweetheart. Lima is silver collar girl, and Lima is going to live in Courtney. And Lima is going to be one lucky puppy because she has two parents who are at home all of the time. What more could a doggy ask for? Lima is a very people focused and very people orientated. She much prefers to spend her time with people and being cuddled and snuggled than she does hanging out with the other dogs. So that was part of the reason we selected her for her new family because she does respond so well to, to people. So for her, we've been working on all of the basics as her mom and dad are first time puppy owners. So we've been doing a lot of extra individual crate training with her. And we have good days and bad days with that. Some days she is not fond of the idea and other days she's fine with it. So what we do when she's not happy to, to have her crate training is we adapt the situation. We leave the door open in the crate and we make the X pen just around a very small area for her so she doesn't feel that she's stuck in the crate and she can come out on her own. That always leads to the next experience being more positive and we just keep building on those positives. But anytime we have a time when she's not feeling it's a positive experience we go back and we give her more freedom that helps her to adjust and that's a really good rule of thumb whenever you're training your puppy for anything you want to do with them otherwise miss lima is a star she loves to play she's very easygoing she likes everybody and she just can't wait to meet new people all the time she's fine away from her litter mates just couldn't care less if she's out there on her own as long as she has some people so that's lima next we have here this is roxy hi sweetie hi Roxy was black collar girl and Roxy is just a doll. Roxy is going to a family where both parents are home. They're a little bit of an older couple who are retired now. So they have all their time to devote to Roxy and their grandchildren, of course, too. So what we needed to find for them was a puppy who was really content with that nice, relaxed, calm, retired lifestyle that we're all hoping to get to soon and also be great with grandchildren. So we have had no problems with Roxy and her crate training. She just goes right in and she lies down. That's it. So she's been really easy to work with on that. And we really hope that continues when she goes home. Hi, baby girl. So what we've been doing with her is having her spend more time with young children and having lots of movement around her. Kids move quickly and for some dogs that's something they don't enjoy. So we make sure she is used to lots of rapid movements and people doing things. Uh, we have some of our grandkids coming to stay with us over the summer and so while they're here they will be introduced to all the puppies and the puppies will become more and more confident with young children and all their darting about ways. And we have starting, are going to be starting her leash work later this week, but I don't think we'll have any trouble with that. You'll see Roxy as well is giving me lots of eye contact, and she's aware that she now wants to look to me for her cues and to learn what she should be doing. So this is a lovely, sweet, calm puppy, and we think she's just ideal for her new family. And now we have Pender. Here we go, Roxy. Pender boy, Pender was brown collar boy. And this fellow is very similar to Roxy. 
he is very laid back, he's really calm, very chill, and just takes everything in stride, don't you buddy, I love you. He too is excellent in his crate. He goes into his crate and he generally just lies right down. Not always, but generally speaking. So similar to Lima, if he's having a time when he really is objecting to us putting him in the crate, we open the door, we give him a tiny bit of freedom, and then we go back and try with the door closed again because we don't want him to become fearful of the crate or learning to dislike the crate. So Mr. Pender has uh, uh, also a very nice young girl that he's going to be with, and he's also going to go to work with his mom. And his mom works in a senior center in tertiary care. And so we need a dog who's very calm, who's intuitive and understands when he's at home and his family want to go out for a walk and do some play with his, with his at home little person. That's how he needs to be one way. And then when he goes to the senior center, he may be required just to be very quiet and sense what the person that he's interacting with needs. Labradoodles are known for their high level of intuition and their therapy tendencies. And normally they're very good at sizing up a situation, understanding a person's needs, and behaving that way. So we feel that Pender has those qualities and those traits and is going to be really successful in his new role. So far he's been a dream to train and we've really enjoyed working with him. Pender is in our Head Start program. Next, we have our little monkey. This is Maisie, and this is our keeper puppy. So she is going to a guardian family. Her guardian family have two lovely children, and she also has uh, parents that work from home and have really flexible schedules. So she's going to have a person with her. This little Maisie is a mirror image of her mother spirit and her maternal grandmother Bijou. When she sees us, she flops upside down for a tummy rub. That is what Bijou and spirit also do all the time. She is a people dog. She, and you can see, she'll probably crawl up me. She'll establish really strong eye contact. And this is a strength and it's also a weakness because at the moment she dislikes very much if she can't see someone. She does not like to be on her own and she does not like going in her crate yet. So we are working very hard on making the crate a more fun place for her. Uh, we're making little tiny baby steps or little puppy steps, I guess. Uh, she is a Labradoodle, so she's smart and she knows how to play her people and she is trying to do that for all she's worth. So she's here with us for a little bit longer than the other puppies. We have her for an extra month. So we're just taking things really slowly with our little Maisie girl to be sure that she's going to be successful when her family does come back from their vacation. So that's our little troublemaker, Maisie. And here we have Red Collar Girl. Red Collar Girl's name is Jolie, and she is going to Germany. So she is a breeding prospect dog, and she too is going to be here with us for a while. She'll be here with us till the uh, third week of August. Uh, when you send a dog overseas, there's quite a few different requirements. Um, one of them is that they have to have a rabies shot. And then after they have that rabies shot, it's another three weeks until they're able to enter the foreign country. So that's why we get to be the lucky ones and keep her for longer. So we're working with her on all of the basic things with a really strong emphasis on confinement. She will be traveling in the cabin, so she'll be in a flight bag, which is not huge. And of course the flight is, I believe, eight hours. So we need to be working her up to being very comfortable and very calm in a small spot for an eight hour trip. And so far she's doing pretty well. Uh, we're just doing it in very small stages. We don't have her in the flight bag yet. We won't do that till August. So we're just getting her used to being in her crate. And Jolie, Jolie is a big people lover as well. She is very much like Maisie. Both of them are strongly focused on people for everything. She gets along with all the other dogs, has a ton of fun, but she really, really enjoys her time with people. So that's all the puppies from the Spring Fling Litter and a little update on what everyone's doing uh, and a bit of information for you on the difference between our Head Start puppies and um, our puppies who are not in that program. 
So we hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions on any of the puppies or how we do things at Van Isle Labradoodles, please just go ahead and ask in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer any of your questions and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching.